All right, let me see. One take master. Don't let we think it's better roughing your feathers. Opinions are like assholes, and assholes are like podcasts. Everybody has one. I Left to right, we got the unfuck wittable pie squad. We got straight shot, no chaser, Brandy Ow. Danielle in the building. We got Mr. Shoot the Fade, Yago Bosch in the Yo. building. We got LeBrain James, Nino Green in the building. We got Black Jesus, Diarco Wade in the building. God we got the Scrooge O Block in the uh-huh. building. We got the OG Back in the building, and last but certainly not least, we got Chuck in the back with the facts. Moment of silence for the competition. Now, one time for the queen. One Hello, time. motherfuckers. <laughs> Now I need you to make some noise for your motherfucking boys. Two times. Hello there. Put it together. Put it together. Put it together. That boy's good. That boy's good. I ain't gonna lie. That was a lot of fucking names. On the one time. <laughs> on the real quick side. The, Welcome. The, we the pod mob today. The pod mob is in the building. Shout out to our sponsors, Kiara Wine and Black Billionaire Company. How everybody man, feeling today? Energy? Man. Good. Yeah. How's everybody's yeah. Memorial Day? Yeah. Wonderful. 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 Um, I put out a couple invites. So yeah. I'm going to say is you niggas don't have to worry about me. Invite y'all again, Brandy. Um, Right. I thought it was Juneteenth. They ain't invited me. Bruh, I just talked to you the other day. He's like, all right, man, I'm about to come. I'm about to go home. Call me when you're on your way home. I'm about to come over there. I, I, they ain't invited me. They ain't invited me. I love you, man. What happened? Topics. 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 That's what happened. You can freeze. That's what happened. You can freeze. What's wrong? Talk to me. Never mind. Nah, come on. Talk to me. You're giving me time to load up something I want to play anyway. Invites. Invite where? I called you. You didn't answer. Mm. On what? Memorial Day? Yeah. I ain't the the day? One. Oh, man. Fuck that. I ain't the only what one. What you mean? What you mean, bro? That's crazy. Speak your piece. I called you, gang. <laughs> Just like I called Brandy, right? I ain't the only one. I called you, right? Hey, nah, fuck that. I called you, right? We talked earlier in the day. Bro. We, we had talked. Bro. Nah, fuck all that. I called you, right? Plead the fifth. You know what's crazy? Matt called me and went off on me like, nigga, you forgot to call me. I forgot this nigga was even here. I'm like, yeah, brother, come on. <laughs> I wouldn't even try to argue with him. Come on, nigga, pull up. Yeah, I was a fan. We got mac and cheese. We, you know, we got a whole bunch of not meat shit in here. All the Frank fishes to get some chicken. You know, bro, you know, bro, don't fuck around. He said not meat shit. That's crazy. It's okay, nigga. Jim Tink, right? Oh, you're going down. Oh, yeah. I'll be here till I'm Let's go. Let's go. Mm. Oh, oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> 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 you're going to be some bullshit, man. My Seder's going to be crumbled. It's not going to be hot. He just took the words out of my mouth. I'm about to say, you know, I'm here with the crumble. That nigga going to be up here setting up the chairs and shit. Like, boy, put that crumble in the air, boy. Y'all saying that, like, I'm not going to be crumbled up. Say that. The one here on time with the crumble. This nigga gonna be late. <laughs> with the crumble though. Late as fuck. Res- so don't be not so don't try to, Don't try to bribe me like it's gonna late. be crumble. I know I'm bringing this shit. <laughs> <laughs> well anyway, I had a I had a, a nice uh Memorial Day. I went out to my guy mom's house. Shout out to Mama Gloria. Then I came home and my hey, girl and her mama threw down, put they goddamn put they goddamn it in it, you feel me? Well, I'm gonna grab me a hot dog before I walk up out this motherfucker. Let's see. Not the glizzy. Yeah, I'm gonna go. <laughs> <laughs> when, when did they start calling hot dogs glizzy? Uh, a few years back, when I was late. I was, I was in jail. Yeah. Damn, man. Because a glizzy to me is something totally different. Yeah, man, this ain't. Yeah, yeah it used yeah. to mean good. It ain't the clock no more, gang. It ain't even <laughs> in, in, in jail, a glizzy is a locking sock, bro. Yeah, that's a Glock, nigga. That ain't no Glock no more. It's a weapon. It's glizzy and glazing. Yeah, mm. I hear that. Yeah, glazing. glazing. I, I use that a lot. Glazing. Yeah, hot dogs yeah, played out. Glazing. I guess. All right, I'm let's, still learning. All right, let me open up the pie, man. This is what I'm opening the pie with. These today. niggas be glazing. 
reason. <laughs> Watch how I'm going to use it in the sentence. In this. I'm going to use that in the sentence later on in the pod on some Dave Chappelle shit. Watch me work, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Watch me, watch I me know. work. I agree. Yeah, <laughs> so I can do it. You know, if you want to partner up with uh, the Cut Different Network, we got many shows to offer. We'll license off. Everybody has one six month agreements at a time. You know what I mean? So Plug it in. We got the date of the show that we work the chicken. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah, that's it. I just wanted to. <laughs> yeah. That's but also real, oh, also yeah, real shit. Like I agree with that because that's how we build our community, our community up amongst us black people. So. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> yeah, I, and I don't think like platforms really understand. That's what I said. I made that post uh, a couple weeks ago about your sharing power, the shit that you decide to share. It's like a cosign, you know yeah. what I mean? And when you're a media personality or you got something going on, you know your share got value to it. That's why I don't just share everything, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? I either share us or like a uh, major account. I never really share other people's shit because I don't, you know what I mean? My cosign mean a lot. Mm -hmm. So. Dig that. You said you ever heard of the border system? <laughs> <laughs> Real talk, you know what I'm saying? Working like that though, you know? A favor for a favor. I can't put my name on everything, you know? All right, so this is where I want to bring bring this motherfucker in first. The caption reads, Diddy arrest for Tupac murder could be imminent. A million dollar check, key according to ex-bodyguard. You know, his uh, bodyguard, Gene Deal, and them niggas, they've been giving up all, all the sauce. He's been telling us. He's just coming out. He realizes he realized it. So it says, Spilling the beans, boy. The arrest of Sean Diddy Combs for the murder of Tupac Shakur might hinge on a million dollar check traced back to Black Ground Records. Do y'all remember whenever Keefe D did that interview and he was like, uh, Diddy put the money up to get him killed, but he ain't never get the money? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, now, go ahead, I'm gonna let you finish. Okay. Conspiracy <laughs> theory surrounding the 1996 murder of legendary MC Tupac Shakur might be edging closer to resolution as rest rumors swirl around Diddy. The key to the potential breakthrough, a million dollar check that could implicate the rap titan, I'm sorry, a million dollar check that could implicate the rap titan in one of music's most infamous crimes. Gene Deal, a former confidant of Diddy, recently ignited speculation during an appearance on the Art of Dialogue. Deal spoke about how the FBI's intense investigation might soon corner Diddy, shining a light on the Lambreth money trail. The feds are so deep and involved in this that Diddy just might be caught up on that Tupac shit, Deal said. Once they go through the money trail and find out why certain people were given certain positions, it's gonna be a problem because they're gonna look at they're gonna look at it all. Anything that can be brung up, they're gonna bring it up. The discussion revolves around an alleged million dollar check handed to Eric Von Vip, an associate with ties to Black Ground Records which released albums by Aaliyah and Timberland. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. It's going down. Yeah. And now, it's, it, uh, it's all wow. making sense to me now. Now, check this. Homie, homie passed away, the, uh, the, the Eric Cat, Eric Von. Eric Von. Uh, he's, he's, he's gone. He's gone. Mm -hmm. All right, 2012, all right, so check this. Now, uh, allegedly, okay, uh, Puff Daddy pays Keefy D, and this guy, you know what I'm saying, to put a head out pop. All right, Eric, whatever Fine, his name is, excuse me, mm -hmm. uh, homie run off with the money. So Keefe D never get nothing, right? You know what I mean? But homie just passed away, I think in like 2012. So now it's like shit, I gotta get the money from somewhere, you feel me, where I'm gonna tell, you feel me, type shit. That's why I'm thinking like Keefe D coming. Like. So, <clears throat> Like shit, and this all, you know what I'm saying, the timing is every, you know what I'm saying, timing is, is lining up too, you know what I'm saying, like, Keefe detailing it all, you feel me, like, he ain't wasting no time, he, and he even mentioned too, like, in one of them black interviews, like, you know what I'm saying, he like, my shit was smooth, you know what I mean, like, he said, uh, what'd he say, he said, uh, basically he was hitting towards Puff, like, man, you know what I'm saying, y'all niggas need to look out, you feel me, like, I need, I need something, you know what I mean, so, Oh uh, yeah, I know what interview. Yeah, so I can, yeah, I can't remember his exact words, but yeah, that's just that's just how I'm 
I'm thinking about it right now and shit. It's looking more like Puff got something to do with that shit every time. I didn't even need Keith to tell me that. I did feel like that. Yeah. I don't know if y'all remember it. It's an old, old uh, interview. I don't know if it was on MTV Raps or something. But it was Biggie and Diddy on the couch. And they were asking uh, uh, Biggie about, you know, Tupac after he had got killed. Mm-hmm. And... You know, Biggie was saying, you know, man, I know we had our differences, da, 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 but I would never want to see nothing like that. But if you watch Diddy's whole little demeanor, demeanor and everything, the way he was like, man, I hope you don't say too much on this damn camera. He just kept, I'm t- I knew right then and there. Yeah, his body language on that interview was fucked up. Yeah. I when I seen that years ago, man, like you, as, you know. Street niggas, yeah. and, you know, you we can, can tell that. Yeah. off of just off a nigga body language, and I knew that he knew mm-hmm. about what was going on. The, when Biggie was talking, he was like, she just said, like, bro, please don't let this nigga mm-hmm. say too much. I ain't never. I I, I always felt like uh, should somewhat had something to do Thanks. with Pac's murder um, more so than Puff. Um, but once I got hip to the this blood sacrificial, the sacrificial Illuminati shit, I knew that. I knew then. I'm like, big was this nigga's sacrifice. You know what I'm saying? Because bad, like bad boy has had a series of artists that's not consistent. They might drop one album, and it's like and it's over with. Mm-hmm. And he good for that. Get him, put out some smashing, and keep it pushing mm-hmm. type of shit. And it was enough to keep Bad Boy afloat. You ain't see how fast he did. Danny became in the band like that. <laughs> Bro, the they band. was like uh, yeah. Danny became was platinum recording artist. Uh, Day Twenty Six was platinum recording artist. The band was gold uh, recording artist. Mm-hmm. They probably had a platinum plaque on a song or some shit like that, but. As soon as that he used the he them niggas was basically a tax write off and he made a bag off that show. Literally. But as soon as he was done with their ass, he yeah. was done with their ass. Over. It was yeah. over. And you never heard nothing else from them niggas. Yeah, I mean hey, all yes. the niggas. Do y'all remember B five? The the five little light skinned niggas that hey. all I do. Yeah. yeah. I uh, I yeah. yeah. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. All them niggas is bad boy That's artists. That's why I'm beginning to get I don't get the narrative of like. Though. He just only he know, know. Yeah, no, no, he went. He was, I think he was smart enough to get away too. Yeah. But I don't get the narrative of everybody that be pop, that be hopping on and be talking. Like, Y'all trying to put down a black man? A black, how the hell we trying to put on put down a black man that has a record of putting down his own artist that was black people? Like, you, what are you, you talking about? You know how many about? times we let Diddy do fucked up shit and we and we let him be Diddy because he was Diddy. Mm-hmm. Y'all can't, I mean, nigga, when you do something fucked up like that, nigga, it's time for you to get called to the court. What do you say? Yeah. You know what I mean? So, and, and to be completely honest, who who's better to motherfucking kick his ass than us? Uh-huh. You see what I'm saying? Uh-huh. Who's better to give him, because to be completely honest, we need to start holding our own people accountable Hello. anyway. Yes. Exactly. Exactly. Yes. So, you know what I mean? Like, because if white folks do it, we tell them, tell out our business. This black people business, we gotta hold ourselves accountable too. We gotta weed out them bad seeds that make us as a collective look bad. Do me I don't a favor, give a damn how much money you got. Do me a favor, Chuck. I'm curious now. Can you look up um, who's uh, MGK signed to, please, if you don't mind, brother? Um, Just know we can't take that. Take that. No more. Nah, that's mm-hmm. it. So, uh, that's it. Mm-hmm. Uh, you can stop and you will be stopped, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> but look, check this. This is something that I've, I've been wondering, right? So you remember when they said that they raided Diddy's house? Yeah. And you know that they said that he had left. What's up with niggas and tapes? Anyway, you know they said that Diddy had tapes. Yeah. I wonder if one of the tapes was the video of him chasing Cassie down that hallway. It was. Mm-hmm. It was. They because said that, why else would it take this long for it to come out? They said yeah. the feds confiscated it when they did that raid and found that tape. They just actually they just breaking news. They said today they found another tape. Uh, the feds found another tape of him and a male sex sex worker that he was victimizing. Ain't that some bullshit? How the niggas stole my thoughts? I'm. Crazy. My bad, man. Nah, bro, I thought about this shit five days ago, and them niggas broke the report. He's the candy man. We gotta start piling earlier than this, man. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I told y'all niggas last year this nigga was going the fuck down. You did. All you gotta do is go back to the Mac files. Mm-hmm. You know that's what did you know that? That we got a season named after you? It's like season one, season two, Mac Foul, season four. Nah, no. Nah, man, nah. you that nigga, man. Round of applause for my nigga, <laughs> Mac, man. <laughs> Thank you, thank you. Thank I ain't gonna lie, because it was a couple uh, clinics put on over there at Max House, too, man. You know, we did our thing over there, too. Absolutely. Yes, uh, what you think about this shit, though, bro? Uh, God don't like ugly. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Uh, dude, dude, bad. Dude, bad people. He bad energy. You know what I'm saying? Beside him, liking men, he just, his whole... <laughs> This whole shit is bullshit. Everything, you know what I'm saying? He yeah. just he a good businessman. He know how to, you know how to work that paperwork. I understand why he got tapes because he constantly extorting or buying footage, and you know what I mean. That's some narcissistic shit, blackmailing and all that type shit. And, 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 and not only that, and not only that, but he be recording parties. So if he ever go down, he got. Proof of, you know what I mean? Like, mm-hmm. right. Them running a train on Beyonce or whatever. Like, oh, you know shit. What I'm saying? <laughs> oh, it may <makes, laughs> <ain't gonna> lie. <laughs> I mean, it's that's a video that. come so, out. They say that's what that's what's floating around. Well, I ain't gonna lie to you. Ah, uh, they be at the yeah. parties. The numbers, the about party part. I ain't gonna lie. Beyonce show up on everybody's party list. What's the buddy name with the uh, uh, the island? They be throwing the yes. parties. Epstein? Yeah, they claim. Yeah. They, 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 they was she was on that list too. Yeah. I wouldn't want to see no Beyonce tape. She looked boring. Not to get off though. I don't think so. But they said she looked uh, boring as fuck. I don't think so. What on they the sex said, tape side? Jay Z had uh, Pimp C killed because he, uh, he smacked on Beyonce. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Allegedly. Mm. I seen that too. I believe that's the first time I heard. Yeah. Me too. Yeah, I, 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 I thought it was because Pimp C had that uh, had that interview when he was talking about a letter and then was in the real south and how some of them be down there doing some things. I thought that was the reason. That let me play. It. That, that was, was a reason. That was the it was the Beyonce sex, but it was the Beyonce shit that really got him off. But they used. Thank they didn't want to do this seem like a, a, a tender dick sucker, so mm. they gave him another reason to kill him. Mm. Well, I, but I have a reason. Okay. Was, What'd you say, bro? I was going to say, I haven't really seen no real proof on Jay Z, or you know what I mean? So I can't really speak on that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, because yeah. he got them tapes. I'm done. I told you to stop showing the fucking tape. He got them tapes. He, he got make sure and, and he paid them people well to make sure them tapes don't come out. He got receipts. Hold on, let me play this Devil Advocates video for you. Eh? There's nobody going to play the Devil's Advocate, but I got a video. Because you know there is always uh, a other side of the coin. You feel me? So this is just a perspective that I don't stand by, but I thought it was interesting. You feel me? Well, here. Mm-hmm. Here go. Oh, okay. Nothing's gone. Can't, can't Shit even beat. pull it up. Damn. Shit beat. Trash. Step oh, oh, over. Oh, oh, fucking segue. We let it get cold, mm-hmm. boy. Mm-hmm. 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 All right, so let me. All right, fuck that. Fuck Enough that. of Diddy. Fuck, fuck Diddy. Him. <laughs> fuck him. <laughs> this is what I want to know. What do y'all think about this? It says Capri Sun launches giant jugs of juice to appeal to nostalgic fans. Fuck no. Man, listen, I've been waiting. No. 30 goddamn years no. for them to make a big ass caprice. <laughs> no. Boy. Hey, what no. the fuck no. say? I've been no. waiting. No. 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 As a kid, as a kid, you used to be like, man, what this shit look like? And you already drinking no. it. Already listen. done spilled it on your shirt. Like, man, I got hella nephew. <laughs> Kids. You know how many times I went in the refrigerator, got two Capri Sun, and squoze the motherfuckers in a cup, and it still wasn't enough. No. Ooh, I joke. No. I can't, I can't. All change ain't good, y'all. All change ain't good. I'm gonna tell you something. Just like how fruit that that dog on Hawaiian punch tasted so much better. Until the guy in that jug, that big ass jug, and it don't taste the same. I need the silver pouch. 
I, I need the pouch. It ain't gonna taste right in that damn jug. Yeah. Rocks. You but need too many watch. pouches just to quench your thirst. Like a that's what makes it so much better. Nah, man, a when I'm slurping it, she don't understand and feel like you disrespecting yourself yeah, opening man, up. Listen, my grown ass want to get a Capri Sun. I pop that motherfucker in two slurps. That bitch is empty, and I'm squeezing trying to get. Yeah, grown grown I'm, man ain't. Every time he sit there, he can hear the Lion King song playing in the background. Deception. <laughs> then, <laughs> then they got that little ass frog make your cheeks be like. Then you gotta get a you little are one. Not just to get that little bitty out. How much y'all wanna bet? Y'all can bet me right now. When he's just come out, y'all gonna be talking about man. It don't taste like y'all well, used to. And that's what me and Jago was talking about the other day. That's our only fear. Then you gotta get another. That they remix the recipe. That, that, that pouch because this is, makes it taste better. I don't know if this is a mock up photo or not, but all Capri Sun got is clear, right? It ain't got no yeah. color to it. They claim that's it the color of the color jug. Like, ah, okay, so the, that's the jug, yeah. gang. Chill out. Yeah. <laughs> I want that cool. That they could at least make the jug gray. But that's the original clear fruit. You that feel me? Looked it crazy. The original clear fruit. Yeah, that's yeah, the OG clear fruit. I'm like, what is it? Cherry cool? What is it? <laughs> I like that cherry one. Oh, no. Uh, and Pacific Cooler. Yeah, that's the one. Mm -hmm. Pacific Cooler. Mm -hmm. That's the one. Yeah, that's the one. I say no. I vote no. I like that pouch. It's something about it being in that pouch to make it better. You know what? You better drink 100 pouches. That's what I'm saying. That's why I don't. I buy a pack and I'm not sharing with nobody. Yeah, I'm childish. Man, man. I'm gonna be childish and not buy that shit unless it's in that jug. Mm. Get more for my buck. I want to talk about some finesses, man. I can you two, which, which one? Y'all was on fire. The heist of the top. century. Hold on, no, not that one yet. We gonna get to that one. That's one of them, though. I'm gonna bring in Arcos first, and then we gonna get to that. Yeah. You feel me, so. That one is crazy too. Yeah, for sure. So here we go. They just light their weed. Everybody get I'm looking for a lighter. I need a lighter. Everybody said, okay, here we go. Right here. Both of y'all. I'm ready to shit. You light your shit? I'm just what, listen, watching y'all not sparking and inspired. It made me wish I had some weed. So the <laughs> Archer Hakimi's wife, Heba. Filed for divorce from the Paris Saint German soccer player after three years of marriage and demanded half of all the athletes' properties and assets worth a whopping eighty million dollars. Watch this though. Unfortunately, for her and much to her great surprise, she found out if she found out that there is no fortune because the hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Tragic. Because the court informed her that her multi-millionaire husband owns nothing as all his properties and assets are registered in his mother's name. Oh. Hakimi earns $1.2 million a month with PSG and deposits all the money in his mom's account. Houses, <laughs> land, cars, jewelry, clothes, and everything hasn't been awarded anything from the divorce. Oh, I'm sorry, hold on. Let me run that back, y'all. I'm fucking up today. Hold on, jewelry, clothes, and everything. Take your time. Hakimi buys names in his mother's Sadia's Sa name. <laughs> Heba hasn't been awarded anything from the divorce and is still currently trying to get what she believes is owed to her. What y'all think, Ruby? I'm sorry, because he said take your time. <laughs> take your time. <laughs> I said my brother got excited for shit. It was all hey, your like, this type of went, hey, take your time. Boy, time. y'all got some names hey, around here. I got some names. <laughs> But what y'all think about that, man? Man, now, now, Manny Fresh don't sound so crazy when he be like, everything. Wow, well, see, I was just thinking that. Mama's name. How you married to somebody and, and don't mean. even know where his assets and everything is going? Like that's the point of marriage. Like we in a union together, so Hold I on. should know. So you should. She didn't know. If y'all married, you feel like you should know <laughs> his financial status to a T. Yeah, nigga. <coughs> yeah. I don't think that. I need. To, I want to know everything about you. I want to know your favorite color. I want to know all That's that. I want to know your I want to know your name. I want to know all of that. I mean, for everything taken care of. My grandma knew where where the money was coming from. Christ, the house, the every whips, Friday. Everything taken care of. Bless your grandma. <laughs> <laughs> this ain't the, this I'm gonna I'm say because of today's day, like. Today's day and age in marriages and shit, mm -hmm. a lot of people are not. Uh, the woman, she's not concerned about that shit unless. That's sad. Uh, like the, the she, 
The only thing she's she taking care of. As long as as long as she's seeing the evidence of whatever the fuck you saying that you got going on, which is her being taken care of, she's not asking no more questions. It. And the only time that she's in with the mindset of going in like mm, that, that, right? Yeah. You going in like that. So the moment you decide that you want to leave, you thinking that you getting something yeah. based off of the enact the yeah. enactment of being taken care of. But no, you don't want that, no like Okay, it ain't everybody's business, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying, where your funds are, okay? Like, I can see if they got a, a shared account, okay? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you're obligated to know what's how much money in is in here, <coughs> in there, but shit, if I got business with Chuck, you know what I'm saying? No, it's not her business to know how much money me and Chuck making it. You know what I'm saying? Facts. We got married? What's coming through? You feel like you need to know how much me and Chuck make if we married? So let me ask you. I'm married to you, yes. What's your stances on prenuptial agreements? I believe in prenups. I believe in prenups. So if you believe what you came in with is what you leave with, what do it matter about you knowing my finances? A prenup is saying, baby, if, if we end, then you can't get none of this. That's something different. So if you not telling your wife that you have other, you ever seen the Watchers? No. You ain't see the Watchers on Netflix. Mm-hmm. Just like in that, in that in that show in the Watchers, he did not. He went behind his back. I mean, his wife's back and was borrowing money out of out of accounts and everything for this damn house that they turned around and couldn't sell because they was going to be bankrupt well, and, and everything. Different. And what did the wife have to do? She it almost it ruined their marriage. And she had to step. She was already doing her own business, but she had to step up, step up even more. No, you tell your wife. But what if ain't nothing? What if nothing's wrong? If it was was vice versa, that's a joint account. If it was vice versa, we married. That means he got one sixty. You telling me if I got one hundred and sixty million dollars? You you ain't worried about if something about to get shut off, cut off. Something yes, about the fuck to, I am. Why I, if the yes I am. Is there? Because guess what? <laughs> life is life. That same soccer player can get injured, and it could be everything being shut down. That means I need to step my ass up because now my motherfucking my man, my husband over here is injured. He can't do what the fuck he he was born to do to make his money. Now I need to step up even more. Yes, you tell your fucking wife or your husband because if it was vice versa. <laughs> Your wife the bread maker and you you Mr. Mom at home. You ain't gonna wanna know. You ain't gonna wanna know about about how she's making money and where it's going. I mean, I really can't say because I never see myself being the nigga that ain't trying to make some money. Now say for instance. I, I feel you on that twin because that's me too. But I'm saying hypothetically. Like there's a financial crisis, you know what I'm saying? And shit. Maybe the business ain't doing too good. We done went bankrupt type of shit. If that's gonna affect her credit type shit, you know what I'm saying? Or if that's going to stop me from uh, providing for the house, you know what I'm saying, or keeping a roof over our head, yeah, it's everybody's business, you know what I'm saying? We, we got to talk about this, but as far as, like, a W-2, nah, like, you, you ain't looking at all that, you feel me? Like, it's, y'all that's married, it. Y'all fell in it's joint income. You don't have together. to. There's an option that says married, but filing... Uh, not filing. Not on the business. I'm gonna say if me and business, if me and Chuck got a business together, she that's not. She's not filing with me on that. Facts. You don't keep nothing secrets in between your husband or your wife, and especially with financial mm-hmm. issues. And that's why financial See, problems but, is one of the most deadliest killers of marriages. See, you don't listen keep nothing from your wife Brandon, or your husband. This topic that we discussing. There is no financial woes. This bitch want eighty million of this nigga's money. Like now, she could be dead wrong for one eighty million. I'm not. I'm not. You no, know. but what I'm saying is, you talking damn, about? You didn't even know that was in his mama's name. But you talking about a hypothetical though, as far as like finding niggas being fucked up and needing to know what it, what you working with. There ain't no need to know what he working with because you know he got at least a hundred and sixty million dollars. I scope on damn Facebook that make sure Russell White inboxing bitches. You think I ain't gonna scope to see that you got the shit in your mama's name? She does. So yeah, she deserve it. <laughs> she deserve it. Uh, yeah, ain't no got, way. She got married. She got married. And I'm be cool with the mama. So my deuce gonna tell me. You hear me? I'm be cool with my deuce. Mamas love me. Once his, once the hang of life is over. If, her, if his mama tell you his business, she is not cut right. Gonna be that's a good that's a good woman, son. That's a damn good woman, son. Hey, 
Y'all didn't say what y'all feel about this situation as far as finances. Well, you did. You you said you don't feel like a motherfucking shit. What you think about um, what's being said? I'm I'm kind of up and down. <laughs> uh, if I got some shit going on on the side outside of her, I mean, I ain't saying that she might not know what I got going on. But it, that ain't really got nothing to do with you. For sure, right? But look, can I speak but on how I feel? We might have whatever no, we no. got. You know, like we, whatever we got going on is what we got going on. But like I feel what Argo said, like if I got if I got a business with you or whatever, like she might benefit from me yeah, having a business she business with you because yeah. she's my wife. Mm-hmm. But any claims, I feel yeah. I would. But that, you, but that's the mindset of a woman at this point. They're not going to look at what you have separate. They're gonna look at your income as a whole, your network. So at the end of the day, it's fuck. Right? It don't matter if you got ten motherfucking businesses, nigga. Outside of what you got going on with her, if split, you're going through it, what we build together. It don't, nigga. When you put, it, when you put, no, well, tell the judge that. <laughs> when that motherfucker, excuse me, I'm sorry. When the motherfucker hit the, when that motherfucker hit the ground, we're talking about you are now have, are awarded to pay this one. That's what a prenuptial agreement is for, because I ain't gonna lie. Because and when you, you put the, because when you put the white people involved, bro, when you put the government involved, you have no say so about anything. Yeah, yeah. I, I we had this conversation, boy. Listen, you don't have no say so. Yeah. So you got ten businesses outside of what you got going on with her. They're going to include those ten businesses, mm-hmm. and she's going to get a piece of that shit. Nah, she's not. Get the fuck out of she here. She can only yeah. get what you get as an employee. What you bring in like that, not she can't get cut it, in on your business. Put like this. You think that? It, it, yeah, you tri- you me, tripping. Give me an example yeah. where a female that snatched Hurt. the nigga got a part, a part of this nigga's business money. They take personal assets. They can't go in your business account what you use to pay employees and all that other shit to pay yeah, your crazy. wife, nigga. No, they can't do that. I said your net worth is what you worth is what you going in. So again, what you what your net worth is is not so what you have liquid though. So your okay, so your ten businesses. Hear me out. So your ten businesses. That's your income, correct? Give a fuck about yo, that's your income. Fact. She's gonna get a piece of whatever your yeah. income is fact. from these ten businesses. Fact. So whatever the fuck you making, she's still getting a piece of it. Whether you paying people or not, whether you paying people or not, she's gonna get a piece. That's your money. money. That's she's gonna be yeah. just coming. Yeah. So you might have to file bankruptcy yeah. because she's getting your pocket. You can't play these employees because you ain't got enough money to. You can file bankruptcy personally. Why do you think niggas move their personal money? You know how many times they didn't try. That's not the argument. Percent. That's not the argument, folks. That's so, what's, the argument. so what's the argument? What we talking about is is she is does she get a piece of or do we feel like if she don't got her name on paperwork for your business, she cannot get a piece of your business, okay, bro. Okay, well, tell the judge that right. when he tells you to pay this woman her money. Fuck what you, you talking about? Who your feelings? This motherfucker got the power to tell you to pay this woman. Yeah. So when you put your that money up, is in the business, he ain't here. He ain't here. Oh, your well, money is in the business. He ain't here. It's you your money. Tell you. When you put that money up, you gotta pay this bitch. Foreclosure, boy. You gotta pay you this bitch. Gotta when you get paid from your business, my nigga, you gotta pay this bitch. Chuck, I need you to look that up for me. If your name, if your name is on. On it, then you gotta pay. But if you if it's a corporation or a business, you ain't gotta pay. Not from the business account. He has a he, he has ten businesses. Whatever his income is, it might not come from the business account to pay her. I didn't but it's coming out of your pocket to pay this woman. So when it comes out of your pocket, guess what suffers Thank behind you. you having to pay this woman? Those ten businesses that you're attached to. I'm scared of marriage. So you're going to end up having to let some people go or whatever because you got to appease and oblige to the rules that has been set for you to pay this woman. So if she's sitting for eighty million dollars and you're going to get in the hundred, now you have to try to figure out how can I double back and make another hundred and eighty or another eighty million without her without missing a beat. What was you about to say, Chuck? About America when you get. The, that, that divorce with the soccer player happened in Spain, mm-hmm. so their legal system is different <coughs> in America. In America, when you get divorced, 
the first thing that the person with less money is going to do is hire a lawyer and they're going to do what's called discovery and they're going to find all of your money basically if you move money you do anything with it they're going to know about it they're going to find every single penny that they can and then they're going to come up with a number that you got to pay so if you have businesses they're added in as a total so you're going to have to pay money so you might have to sell off some of your business to pay the money mm -hmm. at the end of the day but she okay. getting so much she getting her she, she, you, you know, still owe the money. Right you know but so she's not gonna walk exactly. into to you know your you say you own a franchise McDonald's, she's not gonna go to McDonald's and take money out the cash register. That's why he But checked, she's gonna get a payment facts. from you okay. where that sure. is included in the value of what you're splitting. And okay. that's why you don't tell the bitch here. <laughs> 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 but you see what my brother just did there. You see how he act like he just mm -hmm. did a touchdown. Yeah. Or that's because he's dealing with somebody that's normally never wrong. So anytime no. a nigga can get an up on me, they celebrate and do their little victory dance. I want to do You said you never wrong. wrong. Rarely. That's another episode. Barely. Let's continue. Barely. That's another fucking episode. All right, nah. Nah, you was wrong about that cord and all that under the table. Hello, hello, G. Do we have video footage? That's he don't like to be wrong. Is that, is that, that's that too old. He don't like to be wrong. 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 That's two in one day, Mr. I ain't never wrong. That's two in one day. But that ain't nothing. That's well, the first thing I'm wrong. Within an hour. That was the first thing. That was the first thing. And then this one. Man, everybody has an no, opinion. Don't, don't everybody don't everybody don't has, don't has an asshole. And everybody has a podcast. Just not this podcast. We ain't a rep. He don't like to be wrong. Calm down, hell. He's trying to wrap it up. Let me segue. Let me segue. We can have a show. That wasn't a segue. You just did not want to. You just didn't want to. You want to keep interrupting me. Goddamn. You just didn't want this topic to get. You couldn't have thought I was about to wrap this up in 30 minutes. Nah. Alright, so this is the finesse of the, of the century for real though. That was a good right. warm-up. Mm-hmm. Right. Now, you gonna bust a move, young lady. This is how you bust that motherfucking move, okay? Mm -hmm. so pay attention That's to a real one. So it says, in 2010, uh -huh. the famous singer Janet Jackson, uh -huh. sister of the late king of pop, just in case you didn't know, Michael Jackson, uh-huh, met could what's up with all these? Fucking names. That's Sound it out. Sound it out. Why did his middle name is not billionaire, bro? Qatari billionaire with Sam Almana. Is his middle name? That's crazy. In 2012, they got engaged. Before getting married, Janet signed a prenuptial agreement stipulating that in the event of divorce, she would not receive any share of her husband's fortune until five years of marriage. If the divorce occurs after five years. She will receive a hundred million dollars, mm -hmm. and if she has children, she will receive an additional hundred million dollars. And she did. In 2016, mm -hmm. Janet became pregnant Damn. and gave birth to her child in January. Literally, at the age of 50 years old. Preach. Three months later, in April oh. of the same year, oh. after exactly five years five of marriage, years. Uh -huh. she decided to separate from Wasam and thus obtained. Two hundred million dollars. <laughs> <laughs> one time, one time for black excellence. Pressure, pressure, oh, yeah, yeah. Hey, that pussy got volume. You heard me? That motherfucker for the real heist. That pussy got yeah. volume. You heard me? Be making plays, Phil Jackson. <laughs> 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 Man, That's what? how you hit a lick. She, she, oh, she never what? wanted a baby until she met Katari. Yeah. That's how you hit a lick. Uh, 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 mm. She wanted a baby with Jermaine? Watch them child support. Allegedly, support. her and the barge Jermaine, had oh, yeah. a, a secret. Baby. Yeah. It's bad. Mm. It's big enough. I heard about that. Yeah. That baby didn't get her two hundred million dollars, hundred million dollars, hundred million dollars. Yeah. Watch how the child support come with it too, though. She mm -hmm. might have fucked the game up with that one. Who oh, listen? And don't let it be in California. Why is we celebrating this? I'm oh. salty for my nigga. Mm -hmm. Ain't no nigga. Yeah, right. You don't even know this man. We know Jay more than this nigga. 
I mean, shit, he made that arrangement. I know, I went to go see it. He made that arrangement. Still moving. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that 200 ain't gonna hurt, bro. Nah, it ain't gonna hurt him. Definitely. And then come on, he got the hit Janet Jackson record. For five years, man. Come on, now. Uh, come on now. Wait a minute. Wait a minute before you give him that many props. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute before you give him that many props. Janet let Jermaine. So any y'all niggas could have hit because you let Jermaine the pretty hit. Jermaine had chills. Look at Jermaine. The, oh, Jermaine looks he's like he eats cheese. He's like a little mouth. Shout out to Jermaine. Shout out to Jermaine. I'm like so, so deaf. He got Atlanta popping. Well, she knows what's going on. I don't know how your ugly ass got Jimmy. Disgusting in the demeanor. That's the wrong way. I am disgusted. You quick to get the shit out of my face. Stop it. 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 Stop Y'all yeah. here celebrating Janet Jackson. She ain't no That's better Janet than that other bitch. She just won and the other bitch did. All I said was, this is if you going to do it, this is how you do it. She played by the rules. Who's celebrating? Did she I ain't celebrating. I was just saying. Y'all was just happy you that that nigga put that, his, uh, his assets in his mama name. Y'all was happy for him. Ooh. All of you niggas in here was just happy for him. Do you know how much Janet went through and covered her out? Here y'all go. Here y'all go. See, look, I'm, I'm here y'all go. I'm rooting for the match. I'm rooting for the winner, okay? You know what Janet went through? I'm rooting for the That's all it is. I'm rooting for the winner. When she found out, when she asked who's doing the business, she deserved it. Check me, this racist. Yeah, it was a smart ass this place, man. Like I said, you see what how that shit she went through in color girls. Man, you feel me? That's crazy. What ghosts, man? That wasn't that's cool. Crazy. Hey, that's fucked up. No, not the fake A's. The yeah, fake, man. The fake A time. So you doing the fake? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Chuck, what you think about this? <laughs> Transaction than a than a nah. I'm pretty problem. sure, dude. Look, oh, okay. You know what I mean? Like he he's cool with it. He paid his little money. He had his little marriage. He's got a kid with her. Money probably ain't nothing to him. You know what? I don't know what made me just think of this, mm -hmm. but that <coughs> brings me to the mega chick marrying Prince uh, Henry. Mm -hmm. Then he denounced his. Uh, yeah, he's real American now. Pussy so good, throwing the air to Sunshine. Sunshine. <laughs> Sunshine. <laughs> shit. Fuck. Out of here. Man, I, I ain't never coming back home. You hear me? <laughs> he did. If you don't love my black woman, then I don't love y'all. And did you see the wedding? They had a black choir. Oh, yeah. That wet bull, that wedding has to be black bull. Listen. That's what make for because think about it. Like, what really did you? She, <laughs> yeah, sure. she gained, she gained, she gained, she gained her, like, I think when she was a model or something. No, she was a Or some type of actor Actress, or something. Yeah. Me personally, don't know nothing about it. Never, all, I can't, I can't even name what movie she ever starred in. Mm -hmm. But her man, this nigga. I know her first name. He said, what's, he said, what's this? I've never had this before. She said, Hell, Grim, Grim, Grim. Okay. <laughs> you made it. Okay. And, and now she got kids that are, have, that have royal, what's considered royal blood in them. And now they have a check, you know what I'm saying? So they heritage and they have a a, a, a way to the, the, the throne type of shit. Nah, they don't. Shit, the fucking new. Nah, one, they don't. She did. They, they got to go through. It's dead. a long, nah, he's the second son, so. Okay, so the queen died, then it went to their dad. Now it's gonna have to go to William next, and right. then William's kids will be next. Henry, uh, Harry is the second brother. He ain't his kids ain't touching that throne. Mm -hmm. It goes to the first son. He's the first, heir. Oh, he, that's heir. Yeah. How many kids he is? Okay, okay, okay. They'll be like so. They just the cousins. They just they'll be princes and princesses. I know. I don't think she got two boys, Meghan Markle. But they'll be princes yeah. of Dussex or Duchess or whatever. But they will never be. They'll never be able to call them. They did. They, they ain't gonna be in Buckingham Palace like that. Respectfully. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Oh, man. It's assassinated. I'm Men too. Movement is disappointed in you niggas. <laughs> oh my God! Know. He's still on this. Don't let y'all know, man. Oh, man. It's okay. It wasn't me. 
It was all these niggas. It was all these niggas. I ain't do nothing. Niggas. 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 We gonna rewind it back. Me and two, especially you, nigga. Me and two. <laughs> the creator. The creator. The leader. The leader. The you niggas. The leader. The leader. I can't wait till y'all see this back. Y'all gonna be like, damn, nigga. Yeah, we really did that. We was too happy that that bitch took that money from him. Yeah, that's crazy. But he didn't, t- she didn't take it. It was an arrangement. Damn, still it was an arrangement, yeah. a contract. It, it sounded like an arrangement, bro. He should have signed it. it. He agreed to it. Imagine, he gave it to hold her. on, imagine how she He's made so him exactly. feel yeah, go. when they made that arrangement. Ain't nothing wrong with it at all. I'm just, <laughs> you niggas, you just like, just hey, 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 when y'all see it the way y'all see it, it's a question now. Like, damn, hey, this really rad hey, right on us like hey, that. Facts, did. 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 All right, man, I'm about to take the, the men to movement up 200 points. We're about to play the sleeper, man. <laughs> oh, gosh. I'm about to play the sleeper, man. Today, the sleeper is Big Yego. O Black and Nino Green. Like he's sick. And it's called Man in the Mirror. He think this gonna or save him. I'm almost done, son. World pr- 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 premiere. You're now tuned into the number one podcast coming out of Ohio. Here you go. Here you go. Whoa. 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 Hey, 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 this a letter to the man in the mirror. Sorry, don't let them niggas call you friend or get near you. Uh-uh. This a message to the man in the mirror. I, got you. I ignored you at first, but now I hear you. Hey, to the man in the mirror, I got you. I got you. To the man in the mirror, I got you. Yeah, I got you. To the man in the mirror, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Me to know. the man in the mirror, I got you, nigga. I'm looking promise. for the man in the mirror. I can't see him cause it's dirty. You ever had to see the lead? And I feeling like you worthy. Only rich people sleep. So I'm up and at it early, chasing chicken. My phone chirp way before the birdies. I'm the landlord, I come for the rent. Like Mrs. Pearly, you a goofy. The type of nigga we'd give a swirl. And cut different. This that cloth that you can't pay for. The fact I built my own platform is what they hate for. Had to cut off everything to interfere with progress. And everybody else that refused to trust the process. The network, come and get connected like some cable. You acknowledge me like Roman, you can sit down at the table. Whatever you need, I'm able to get it. Give me a week or two. Weak niggas scared to evolve, just like a Pikachu. I see the truth. Looking at the glass on the wall, I tell me, myself, and I'm still ahead of them all. This Nino. a letter to the man in the mirror. Sorry. Don't let them niggas call you friend or get near you. This a message to the man in the mirror. I, got I ignored you at first, but now I hear you. To the man in the mirror, I got you. I got you. To the man in the mirror, I got you. To the man in the mirror, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. To the man in the mirror, I got you, nigga. Kids, I'm her fourth. The, the baby boy struggling to make ends meet. Some shit we can't avoid. Eating leftovers for days on end. Wish challenges for we couldn't afford those meals. Checking gold cash loans to pay those bills. Damn repo men coming to take those wheels. Yeah, big stepper, I stay on my one two. NBA forever, these niggas ain't cut right. Been the screws, can't play me. I'm not the duck type. Piss me off, pussy, you ass out. But white money escorted over low side. Truck life, man, it's a society with a heart like Cain Attitude like old dog My twin rat swapping ass tray for dope boy In the hood with them boys for real The truth lasts forever, lies get exposed for real Watch who you give the gun to, to avoid the deal It's a letter to the man in the mirror Sorry. Don't let them niggas call you friend or get near you It's a message to the man in the mirror I, got I ignored you at first, but now I hear you To the man in the mirror I got you, I got you. To the man in the mirror, I got you. Yeah, I got you. To the man in the mirror, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. To the man in the mirror, I got you, nigga. I promise. Mama had bad kids, I'm her fourth. The baby boy struggling to make ends meet. Some shit we can't afford. Those meals, checking gold cash loans to pay those bills. Damn, repo man coming to take those wheels. Yeah, big stepper, I stay on my one two. NBA forever, these niggas ain't cut right. Been a screws, can't play me. I'm not the duct type. Piss me off, pussy, you ass out. But white money escorted over low side. So that mic call was supposed to go back in that motherfucking. Nah, it's nah. just this. He said it's out there now. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gonna hold you. I love it though. Appreciate it. 
Appreciate it. I like it too. Yeah. That mean old oh, nigga is, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> topic next. Next topic. Because <laughs> he about to get started. Boom, 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 boom. Looking for the man in the mirror. Oh. I can't see him because he's dirty. <laughs> you ever had a seat to leave not feeling like you were? Hey, bro, I think you. Rich people. Hey, bro. So I'm up and at it early chasing chicken. Here, nigga. Oh, here. Sir, wait, here. Take it. Here. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what I come for the rent. You better than Kendrick, bro. Oh, man. Give it too. Oh, man. You want to rap next? All right. You better than all Kendrick, right. bro. All right, all right. You and Diego. Yeah, go. Damn, you got some motherfucking. You know what I'm talking about? Thanks. You too, nigga. Thanks, man. Thanks. For sure. Man. You say you better than Kendrick's. Mm-hmm. You trying to yeah. make try to make Kendrick do another They Not Like Us part two? <laughs> Fuck we all going to, it's about to be another 20 V01. Because we all about to hop, we're going to have to I know hop him. on that track. Yeah, we can. Right, I Kendrick. know him. <laughs> I don't know Kendrick. So check big though. <laughs> I appreciate our compliments. You know, man. Uh, green light coming out soon. All right, so listen, thoughts. This is 45-year-old Douglas Barnes. His son, 19-year-old Gino Barnes, was shot and killed during a traffic stop by Sergeant Mike McCraffy when reaching for his insurance information from the glove box. In return, Douglas Barnes waited on 17-year-old Samantha McCraffy, the daughter of Mike McCraffy, to exit her limo on prom night, shot and killed her, then screamed out, eye for an eye. He waited on the police to arrive. Wow. Me, personally, I wouldn't have did that. But at, <laughs> if I was there, I wouldn't have called the police on Buddy, you feel me? Right. You know what I'm saying? That shit crazy. Wow. But, you know, oh, on, some st- on some street shit, he got what he deserved. That part. That it part. was foul as fuck for sure, yeah. but that part. Yeah, you know what yeah. I'm saying? And like, that's all I got to say about that. <laughs> 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 Somebody, anybody. Yeah, shoot, they said that. <laughs> it's, uh, it's one of them, one of them situations, bro. Like I don't, I don't wish death on nobody. You know what I'm saying? But man, uh, unfortunate situation. Bro. Eye for an eye, man. That shit, was I, I understand that part too. You know what I mean? Like shit, you take mine, and you, you yeah. just, you just spoke on a situation last week where you felt like shit. Fuck getting even, I want to get over, you know what I'm saying? And it's like, shit, hey, that, that, man, that's, hey, but he I, got even, as far as I say, you know what I'm saying? But, man, it's still like, he wasted his life, he threw his life away, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, I would have ran. It worth it, you know what I'm saying? I would have oh, got away know, with it. Like, me personally, I would have got away with it. Yeah, I would have ran. <laughs> nah, I ain't no running. I'm gonna on the police for a day. They got I mean, cameras I'm, and I'm shit. Gonna say, I'm gonna say this, though, on a more, on a, on a more serious note, right? It's dangerous because we are living in times to where we have no, there is no faith or like trust in the justice system. Yeah, I was about to say that too. You know what I'm saying? So a motherfucker like, so, so like, like, regard, like how we feel when we lose somebody, we feel like whatever the court's gonna do to them is not justice enough. Mm Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? So we ain't gonna need to. So, so in, 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 in so many aspects, a person ain't gonna fuck that. We gonna hold court. Mm-hmm. We gonna hold court. Yeah. I'm gonna serve this. I'm gonna serve that because this person was judge, yeah. jury, and executor on my people. On some vigilante type shit. You know what I'm saying? So I understand when they say an eye for an eye type of thing. Or you feel me? Because you gotta think, my people's dead, and this nigga doing life, or this bitch doing life in prison. Yeah, She's still breathing. So look, fuck that part about it. Off my taxes. That, 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 that cop ain't going to jail. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He he got he got <laughs> right for that shit. You feel me? But like, you know who's some the, people, who's the, who's some the people are willing to throw their life away yeah, about their baby. Though, but but this yeah. is the thing though. Tax. I'm, I'm, I'm one me. One of them niggas. Yeah. 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 I'm right behind him. Literally. Yeah. I can. I, like I said, I. Man, I can't believe it. I only got, got one child. You know how much that is? I don't even have a right, no fuck. Check this out, though. I got one. This is what I got me thinking about. 
think about the psychological warfare that he put because like you said get over you mm-hmm. see what I'm saying and when I don't have a daughter personally but I have god daughters and shit like that so I can only imagine where I'm at where my head space is seeing my baby off in her dress with some little fuck nigga going to the prom you <laughs> know what I mean like that's a moment and you think this baby is coming back home. Prime night is something special that's supposed to be something that you remember forever for the right reasons. You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Nah, Niggas. Kids life ain't even started yet. Yeah. They just mm-hmm. seeing the prom then gradually. They, yeah. Man. Hey, that's true. They they that's kids. true. Shit. That's true. But as that Officer that sent this baby off. He got to remember what he did last week. Yeah, literally. I mean, he got to live with that most this definitely. Is, and at the end of the day, no matter what the justice system think, his daughter's blood is most definitely on his, on hand. his hands. Because this was the consequence. This is what yeah, the reaction. Yeah, for sure. Mm-hmm. <coughs> I thought that was. Yeah. That's deep. That's Man. deep. I ain't gonna get yeah, it. He's still in prison. I'm, I'm in the mind. I'm going. <laughs> Hey, shout, out, shout out to JJ. That was that was a topic from cousin JJ, man. Okay, he swung that through. JJ, that's my guy. Uh, JJ, I keep forgetting to hit you up. I gotta hit you up to see something. <laughs> look, if you see this, if remind see him. This, if you see this tomorrow morning when you at the office, you know, just give, give me together. So I gotta ask, especially the fellas, this. Or I gotta tell y'all this so I can see what y'all think about it. It says Candace Owens. This is from her Instagram page. She says, ban pornography. It is a psychological weapon intended to weaken our men. I ain't gonna lie. Wait, 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 hold on. Go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead, 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 brother. As a woman. I need to hit the button. No, no, no. no. As a woman, what the fuck is she talking about? I don't know what the fuck she talking about because I actually sent that topic and I'm against it. I love porn and it helped me a lot during my single days. Hate me. <laughs> <laughs> but she didn't talk about you. She didn't talk about you. But I mean, like, it, to I'm me, it's not. To... But with Candace, I was going to ask y'all that, which I got done, though. But mm-hmm. it's, it's not a male thing either because it's actually women out there that are, you know, addicted to. It's not a male or, I mean, it's both. It's addicting. For some people, it is. Some people are <coughs> And that's what Candace is also, you know, using as another reason or example of why you should ban it. Because you, got of, them, you got them diddlers out there that be, you got them videotapes in them boxes. I, I read the Damn, comments. Man, shit get out of control, man. I read the comments where a lot of them was saying in there that they agreed because they actually had a porn addiction and they ruined, you know, Kirk their Franklin life. had a, so, a porn addiction. <laughs> but I'm, I'm, JC, are you with me? <laughs> so, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm going to say this. Um, <laughs> God forgive me. This can be addressed on uh, on the physical and the spiritual aspect, but I'm just going to address the physical aspect, right? For 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 men, it's we find pleasure in it, but I can understand from the woman's aspect if she if the man is not. It depends on his sex drive. Honestly, well, if, if he's not going, if whoever he, the fuck she talk about, or if he's <laughs> if, if he's not equipped. Like if he can, if he can handle him and and handle her, she's not complaining. Ain't gonna it's gonna be a problem to where he's into the phone more mm-hmm. than putting his dick in her. That pussy weed. Yeah, that pussy yeah. weed. Yeah. 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 And then you Bro, dice on her goofy He's ass. not lying because it's crazy. That, that's just some of the things that they were saying in the comments. They was mentioning that that they was mentioning that some men have watched porn so much that they expect those same high expectations of when they are with another woman. And then he watch porn and then he fuck and, and then he be like that pussy wee. <laughs> but, uh, but you know, right, 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 on, the, on the you know you fat like it's you like Jesus. <laughs> Yeah. You, know, Jesus. you know what the killer punch is? You know what the killer part to this is? What? A lot of men feel that same way. A woman is feeling intimidated about porn, but a, so a lot of men feel it that way when it is. comes to yeah, toys. Yeah, it is. I've, had, I've dealt with a female that was, would be mad when I watched porn. Like, damn near try to compare it to cheating. Yeah. That's crazy. Okay. That's that part. Now, are you... Fuck Cherokee. I wouldn't be that, cheating. I wouldn't. Pinky, 
<laughs> Not you, babe. Hey, babe. Love you, babe. I'm talking Shout about Jamaica. You feel me? One time for the. Now for, I ain't gonna one lie. time for the queen. <laughs> 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 but if a, if you are just sitting there like if you got some ass right here right. and you just sit back and just watching porn like I do what I will keep thinking that's a little weird because I mean again well maybe because I'm a Scorpio nigga shit we watching it together and start touching on me like you know if you just keep watching it and you got some ass in here the whole time that is a little weird I ain't gonna lie if you if you in the room I shouldn't even have to be watching no porn that's for my long time when <laughs> Sometimes right. it enhances. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But no, sometimes it, it enhances like no, intimacy. But, but and I ain't gonna lie to you. I'm into that. I'm, let's mimic what the I'm, fuck they're doing. Y'all born like Beyonce. Yeah, I can see. Thank God. Forgive me. Yeah. Now, now I'm just. <laughs> you better run for I got. Me. I got photographic <laughs> memory. I wanna. I wanna study the the tape on my own, and then later use the moves out the playbook. Oh. I mean, yeah, shoot. When you got your little you lonely, lonely days, is okay. Scene by scene, doing it. No, slow down. They still doing it like that. So I, I take it as. <laughs> <laughs> so I take it. All right, just turn it on. So I take it as. I say, I say, so I take it as they say, no banning. We we stand against you, Candace. No banning. You tripping? You big? You big tripping? You yeah. bang your ass out <laughs> my motherfucking triple legs, bitch, man, man. The triple X videos definitely be helping niggas. No, I'm just saying, that's all, y'all watch it together, it's gonna get both of y'all in the mood. You feel me? That's like, what I'm saying. Y'all, y'all gonna get on some freaky shit. Shout man. out to like, it ain't like Shout out to Russell. Russell. Those X videos for me. Yeah, yeah, right. Shout, Shout out to Russell. Russell. I, I was on something else. You ever been on a? You gotta uh, keep it fun. You ever been on a porn site and then find a better porn site and feel like you've been cheating yourself? <laughs> like, Hell yeah, motherfucker. <laughs> That's how I felt about. Oh Red shit, that's a baby. Oh, I mean, shout out to the oh, to the city and guests, man. <laughs> Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Yeah, this is the late night show. <laughs> 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 What's that Barbie's clothes? Oh, oh, What's that Barbie's clothes? Oh, let, me see oh, oh, let me play. Let me play this video. And get y'all. See Ooh. what y'all think about this. Mm, 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 mm. <coughs> Why you stop talking, guy? The, the blood test, but women was created out of sin. The Bible, nigga, you do not want to go there. Those horns were just oh my by the way, ladies. Huh? <laughs> oh my God. Does that, does that, was that? Have, we ain't gonna even get the Bible, baby, because I can explain that scripture. The dude who was married. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, okay, so. It says a, D- a DNA test had revealed. Okay. This dumbass nigga said women was born out of sin. Wait, wait, wait. Let me come real quick. Hold on, hold on. This old ass nigga just said women was born out of sin, nigga. Nigga, you going by the goddamn Bible and shit, nigga. Women was not born out of sin. Women, a woman came from a man's rib, which was Adam. Nigga, get your fucking facts straight. And that's just one of them to go. I can I can go to the next one with Adam and Eve. That that whole story. But yeah, talking about women was born out of sin, nigga. You don't even know what the fuck you talking about. A woman originally in God Bible came from a man's rib. So how the fuck was she born out of sin, ho? Yeah, and I stand by my sister, man. What she says. Not to mention, 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 hold on, we gonna back her up some more, you know what I'm saying, cause now we, you talking to a Bible scholar on the low low, right? Yeah, I used to do the, the base, first, let's get it. The first sin was was from man, Eve, what, Eve, a lot of people put it on Eve because she ate the apple, or she presented the apple to Adam, you know what I'm saying, but it was actually Adam disobeying God, which was the first sin, so... 
Onto you wanted to wear that suit so bad. Today. Don't let me. Don't make me. Don't make me. <laughs> I know you did. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. Read. Read. The, but, this is oh, what it's referring to, though. Okay, so a DNA test has revealed Coyote O'Laren Wahoo. What the fuck is his is name? The biological father <laughs> of his three children with his wife. And, and that's, that's what the video that's was that's pretty much referencing. You can't tell none of them niggas look like you. That's I mean, I ain't gonna lie to you. When, 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 the fate, the victims that kicked in, he already done signed the guy. I ain't gonna lie to you, but two of them babies, when I looked at it, I, I'm thinking. See, that that's the, the point he was trying to make. It's two of, the, two of them babies when you look at them. You're like, damn, you, they may be here. He's spewing. So that was him going off like that? It was no, somebody. No, 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 no. That was somebody uh, yeah. referencing. Oh, yeah, yeah, but speaking that towards that. that. He's that's because he's been hurt by another woman, but that's your fuck ass. I mean, yeah, that's a scorn right there. But three <laughs> kids. I mean, they do. <laughs> but listen, but they do do that. Well, that but score the, the, on the other side of the coin, we do too. <laughs> you know what I mean? Three you can't point out one without pointing out the other. You know, a rolling stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you ain't gonna ask him that. You ain't gonna ask this that. Your everyday question, you ain't gonna ask him? It ain't, it ain't come up. How many, ki- how many kids you got, bro? You know I'm five. Five Oh, shit. <laughs> So you you Many didn't, let, you didn't let it come natural, bro. I was gonna get him, bro. You didn't let it come natural. Bro. That was the moment, right? No, it wasn't. Perfect opportunity. Um. Yeah, that's crazy. Mm-hmm. And I don't want to keep talking about this because Brandy <laughs> is mad. So I didn't like that. Did y'all see the Lizzo you, video? You, was, you cut it too short. I mean, you you didn't cut it quick enough. You got you let it. Yeah, I let her shit get out. Women. Oh, yeah. He came crazy. He man, woman haters club. <laughs> Yeah, brother, he brother, crazy. Brother, brother most definitely been through something. That yeah, shit hit home. Cut him yeah. off. Yeah. They start talking about the Bible and everything. He got me. He yeah. That's how you know sorry. But did y'all see the Lizzo? Uh, you know, South Park. They got some uh-huh. classic, classic goddamn uh, reenactments of people. Mm-hmm. Yeah. My favorite one was Michael Jackson. Yeah. 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 Play with me, Blanket. Yeah. No, Blanket. <laughs> No. I ain't gonna lie to you. That beat some cake joint. That's fucked up. He sound just like me. <laughs> oh <laughs> my god. <laughs> no, you don't get it. He's a mean. You <laughs> 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 to get me and my mom with the car. <laughs> <laughs> bro, I'll never forget that, bro. That's the That's a classic. Thing. But Lizzo, <clears throat> she, de- she sat there and reacted to a South Park skit. I don't know if y'all seen. Who said, who didn't see it? I, I seen it. I, 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 I seen it. I ain't watched it. Hold on, let me let me let it me didn't work when I pulled it up. What? See, no. that's, oh, that's what? The type, no, that's no, the type no. of shit that happened when I clicked the link. Realized, I've been referenced in a South Park episode. I'm so scared. I'm gonna blind do it to it right now. There we go. I was telling you, Sheila, these new drugs are pretty amazing. I was feeling so ashamed of myself, watching Randy go out and exercise all the time and not eating as much. But I just don't have the same kind of willpower he has. <laughs> the drugs are you on, Sharon? Ozempic? Manjaro? Oh no, I talked to my doctor. He said insurance would only pay for those if I had diabetes. But if you can't afford them, then how are you managing your weight? Don't you know, Sheila? Now there's a whole new obesity drug for those of us who can't afford Ozempic and Manjaro. I've controlled all my cravings to be thinner with Lizzo. <laughs> oh, 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 it's Lizzo. FDA approved Lizzo makes you feel good about your weight, and it costs 90% less than Ozempic. I've lowered my standards and my expectations. It's <laughs> 70% of I don't care how much they weigh. I don't give two shits. <laughs> Lizzo helps you eat everything you want and keep physical activity to a minimum. Oh, wow. Constipation while listening to Lizzo. Stop wow. listening to Lizzo if you experience suicidal thoughts. Oh. Side effects may include pancreatitis, hypothermia, the fucking and out your ears. Yeah. Are you living with concerns of obesity? Ask about the power of not giving a fuck. With Lizzo. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> Damn! South Park gives no fuck. They don't give a fuck. Yeah, 
Yeah. You can watch that on YouTube right now. I think they went light on her. Hey, me too. They went light. They could have been, been worse. Hey, that was yeah. just funny as fuck. But you know, she tried to spin just, it like. See, even South Park, no, I don't give a damn about what anybody say. No, you might need to rewatch that about like three more times and see what the hell they say. They say you can eat whatever you want. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Listen to Lizzo may cause constipation. And what else? If you have suicidal thoughts, it's stop, suicidal. Stop, <laughs> take, stop listening to it. Stop taking this shit. <laughs> Basically, what the you just fuck? You can eat whatever you want. Right, with, you just don't with, give a damn. With the minimum of any activity. Oh my goodness. Yeah, but they took it light on her. Yeah, they definitely took it light, but she was funny. Man, now, man, they start doing all type of insults. When my nigga Sue said they gave her an hour. They knew not to do no cartoon of her up in there because then yeah, people would have been yeah, like, oh, y'all fat shaming. Yeah. So they did pretty good. That racist thing. Come on, yeah, cover up. Yeah, they definitely covered up well. I wanna. That's some genius shit. I wanna go over this last topic before we get out of here, man. I just don't feel like reading. I'm it's another big name. Come on, come on, come yeah, on, brother. It's Let another foreign name. I am my brother's keeper, no, man. Man. I am my brother's keeper, man. I done gave y'all 66 episodes of articulate reading. Oh, <laughs> <there's> a... <laughs> All right, y'all. Oh, shoot. So, baller alert. Chicago team earns doctoral degree. Matter of fact, this is black ex- black excellence, by the way. Uh, Chicago team earns doctoral degree at 17 walks in graduation ceremony. Chicago's own Dorothy Jean uh, Tillman the second, I guess, has accomplished what few can. Uh, even imagine that just 17 years old, Tillman walked in the graduation ceremony this month after entering her doc, uh, doctoral degree in integrated behavioral health from Arizona State University. Dorothy shared her remarkable journey on Good Morning America, explaining that she was homeschooled during her early years and entered college at the stunning age of 10. By 2020, she had already earned a Master of Science degree. Uh, one year later, at 15, she was accepted into Doctorate of Behavioral Health Management program at ASU. Tillman successfully defended her dis- uh, her dissertation in December of 2023 and probably walked at ASU's spring com- uh, commencement on May on May 6. Tillman attributes her academic success to the strong emphasis on education in her family, especially influenced by her grandmother who was influenced in the civil rights movement. People in my life, like my grandmother, who was part of the <laughs> civil rights movement, she, of course, harped on the importance of education and consistently learning something always, Tillman said. To read the rest, log on to ballerlog.com. Hey, I'm Shout out to the queen. Most definitely, most definitely. Most definitely. Yeah, that's what's up. You might have found you a new job, my boy. This just further proves to me that, you know what I'm saying, if we really take time and put and invest into our kids, though, you know what I'm saying, they can really be something more than what we allow them to become based off of what we allow them to entertain or engage with. Round of applause for Jameer Showtime, man. I just feel like... Hey, yeah, my nigga just thought he had happy birthday to do with his birthday was yesterday. Happy okay. birthday, man. It's Showtime, man. Okay. Nigga 16 now, so now I can't be like, you know, talking shit. Shout out to the Gemini's out there. Crazy motherfucker. Oh shit, here we go. Uh, what we got, uh, great pod everybody. Round of applause for yourself. You did great. Thank you. Shout out to you. Yeah, for yourself, damn, all right. I want, yeah. <laughs> shit. Shout out to the haters. You know these people. I like to feel special. Blazing. Blazing. Hot dog. I see what you did there. Yeah. <laughs> all right, so uh, what we got going on this week, Brandy? Nothing. Mm. I ain't trying to do nothing. Mm. I'm trying to relax. Like I said, my son just graduated. Got on my shirt still. Proud mom. Oh, Jordan. 2024. And yeah, I'm tired, boss. I'm trying to relax. That's it. That's it. I just want peace. For sure. What about you, Diego? Uh, State Friday. State championships. You know, 
Apparently, I'm the lame one. I'm the only one to watch it. You watch the shot? <laughs> lame. <laughs> Is the star, star now, star, bro. It ain't like, but in the beginning, it was most definitely like apparent. About to be a show star about was. dude, yeah. And nah, once he got killed off, they made it a he, show about everybody. We need to talk that about shit dude, fucking too. Bar. the nigga that used to the easy E nigga. Watch the show. Yeah. He yeah. fucked his career up, bro. What happened? What he do? Um, he, I stopped watching. That's my dude, man. The, they girl, him. the girl that played his they his girlfriend. Some weird shit. The girl that right, played his girlfriend. Pre, uh, made sexual allegations nice towards him, like he tried to like make advances to her, and she felt uncomfortable. And I like this storyline. That's why I stopped watching. So what? I mean, what he say? Shit, I don't think it really matter. He ain't working her no more. Yeah, it mm. matter. I mean, shit. <laughs> All right, you right. We'll, we'll talk about it later. Oh, block. What you got going on, brother? That's a whole topic. Um, right. Well, I guess I'm gonna tap into the show. I've been one to. I never really watched nah, the show. It's too late, bro. I was locked up. I was, I was locked up. Watch Power. Man. I've never seen it, <laughs> but I'm caught. I'm 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 damn near caught up on BMF. I am on season three. I got like two or three more episodes that I gotta <clears throat> complete before I'm caught up with that shit. Hey, hey there, brother. Go Power watch. Almost out. But Go watch the, the first shit in Power. I'm gonna start spoiling shit yeah. for you. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. Outside, out, outside, yeah, outside, 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 shit, outside of catching up on my on my on my shows and shit, uh, I, I got a, uh, some more studio time coming around, man. And um, uh, June, sometime in June, man, we'll start dropping. You know what I'm saying? Songs from Money Hungry Three, uh, Money Hungry One, and Money Hungry Two when we did the live or whatever, and I'm going to drop them projects and just uh, and catch up on, from there on. But outside of that though, and taking care of these kids and shit, I run rapid, so that's my life. You know what I'm saying? I ain't hustling and bustling and, and running around taking some like take picking up and dropping off and all that type of shit. And doing this. Don't it sound like bruh stopped himself from saying some incriminating shit twice? <laughs> <laughs> Is it man after the good stopping and selling some crap? I mean, uh, <laughs> <laughs> hustling and bustling and I'm uh, wait. I'm <laughs> wait. To you, man. I got bricks. Say, I mean, <laughs> fuck. Uh. I'm wait. <laughs> what you got going on, man? Man, just going to work. Hopefully, I'll be in another state somewhere soon. You know, on the road again. Yeah. Just staying focused, man. Staying out the way. That's about it, man. I brought souvenirs, nigga. Look. Hey, everybody got an ashtray, man. Shout out to Yago, bro. Problem solver. Chuck, what you got going on, big dog? Who came from the track? Just working and editing. Where's my ashtray? They find ashtray. Anything exciting? No. You know? I'm going to check out that South Park episode. I didn't know it dropped already. Yeah, it's on YouTube. What's well, up? It'll be. I got Max, and that's where they drop their episodes. I'm pretty mm-hmm. sure. Okay, then. Let me Max. get your password. Yeah, I'm going to Max too. I just it ain't even my password. No, nah, man, that's what they all say. It ain't even mine either. That's shut what they all nigga, say. Yeah. Shut. Yeah. Shut up, my nigga. Yeah. All right, man. Great pie. Who brought in the pie? 
I did, motherfucker. Shout out to her. Come on, Screws, take us out. Ooh, you did that too. Oh. <laughs> Everybody has an opinion. Yeah. Everybody has a. Uh, uh, asshole, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Everybody got uh-huh. a podcast, you know? Yeah, just, we just, just got this, this podcast. podcast. No, no dude, we gotta do it over here, man. No dude, I'm fucking up too. No dude, come on, man. Yeah. On that one. I ain't come on, come on. Yeah. My bad. Yeah. Everybody, everybody has an opinion. Mm-hmm. Yeah, everybody has an asshole. Yeah. Everybody has a podcast. <laughs> no dude, no dude. Oh, no, 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 I said it backwards. I said it backwards. Y'all peace. How you missed it? I'm glad it played. Shout out to Big Man. Oh, man. Shout out to Big Man. Everybody has a fan. Everybody has a. Everybody has an uh, <laughs> All right, all right, stop. Everybody has an opinion. Everybody has an asshole. And everybody got a podcast. Just not this podcast. This was Everybody Has One. And tonight, we're going to leave out with my boy Dan O'Getty slash for you, man. You already know. Let's go. Ooh, it's too much weed. <laughs> hey, man, that's funny as fuck. Uh, Maybe you an A for effort, though, man. Ooh, no, he had it the first time, though. <laughs>